A new day, a new project. What I'm trying to do today is to set a filter to this amplifier to have one of these filters instead of uh, the input capacitor. And then I will uh, connect this to my radio. We'll watch the result in 868 MHz band to see if we have a better signal from uh, from an antenna around okay so uh, the first step of course is to open up that uh, shield okay let's take out the shield uh, and uh, you can see here very clearly we have a small capacitor okay that one will be replaced with a cell filter on 40 68 megahertz okay so here i have a uh, LoRa antenna, that's the original Heltec 3.5 dB antenna. I'm gonna have this near the window up there. We have to connect this to the radio. I'm gonna use the same old trick with a piece of wire in the middle because both of them are in connector. So I can tell you this little trick, it's working all the time. The radio application, it's already on so i'm talking about uh, air spy sdr and it's running let me have the gain 42 db okay we can see very clear the oh, that's a, that was a big one here uh, and we can see it's a lot of activity in this band okay so that's the way it's looking with 42 db and uh, only the antenna. What I'm going to do first is to have that uh, capacitor out. I don't want to lose it, so I will just put it aside. Yeah, we got it. Now, let me prepare the place here for the filter. So I need a ground connection. Oh, no, that's too far. Maybe here. That should be enough. Let me have a filter. We'll take a look before to the GSM uh, frequencies around. Yes, the filter is in place. That was the ground connection. And now we have to put some really nice uh, thin wires to input and output of the filter. Okay, so this is the input. The filter, the filter input on pin 2, it's always under this uh, long uh, ground pin. Yeah, this is connected. Perfect. And this one goes right here. Of course, trying to avoid short to the ground. Perfect. Let's test this. Okay. This needs a little bit more, a little bit of touch. Yep. I think we are good to go. Let's have the test. KM601 smart multimeter checking for continuity so this is the input and nothing and this is the output here on pin 5 good any ground connection no We are good here. Um, I can even have this back here. Just a little bit higher than usually. I don't want to touch the, the filter terminals, but that's not touching for sure. That should be enough. Okay, 
Now let me find a proper connector to the input, something to have a straight connection with the antenna. So my antenna, it's using a, a where are you? This is the antenna. So this one is using a, a RPSMA female. No, RPSMA male. So over there I need a RPSMA. Obviously female. Let's see now. Right, something like this. Okay, that goes the antenna input. And now I need two pieces of wire to have the ground connection too. And a little bit of mechanical. connection also okay that's good and the other side this will be done in a proper way after the tests but for now it's okay Perfect. So we got the input. All right. So I said before, let's take a look to LoRa. I mean, uh, to GSM activity in the area. So the radio is on and let's move to 900 megahertz and look there it's huge so everything you see here it's gsm and down to 800 and 20. it's big okay let's go back to our frequency here 868 so this is the simple antenna running to the radio right here now i have to take this out because i have a adapter rf output of course to the radio too and the antenna is going straight in here evidently there is no signal nothing happens there all we have to do now is to plug in the power plus and minus 5 volts and that will be supplied by this adapter it's bulky but I prefer this adapter to any other because this is a transformer it's isolated from the mains so I don't have any uh, electrical leaks and uh, of course no other oscillation and um, frequencies and so on let's have this plugged okay let's watch the screen and plus and we are on well look there people i may say that's a huge improvement so if we take if we take it the other way I think everything went up with at least 10 dB. We are on the same gain like before. 
let's take a look at 900 you may see that it's pretty quiet of course it is a little bit here anyway the signal it's very very strong so even with a filter we can't get rid of it totally okay but let's take a look to the other side 820 pretty okay much better oh there we go okay we can do something else here is the amplifier output let's have the spin in now I'm the antenna oh do you remember this look it's all the way up to the to the screen let's go back to our LoRa so yeah that's very clear the filter is doing the job let me have uh, let me have the pin back yes okay it's huge remember this now let's go to our LoRa frequency 868 pretty quiet the color of the screen it's at a certain okay let me have the gain down to almost okay 25 db 22 let's say 20 so it's 20 db only the antenna okay let's take that out let's have the amplifier on and the antenna of course and there we go it's a very clear line here and I may say there is a huge activity look how many points we got here in this area yeah it's very clear it's working okay so the next step is to have it okay so we have 20 db gain here obviously it's no signal because there is no amplifier and now let's plug in the amplifier <laughs> look there oh yes it's working so the next step is to have this to have this on the minor but i need also an adapter okay so this one goes out and it's out because there i need an, another connector and something like yes something like this but with a central pin like that okay so i'll improvise something very easy this one goes in with a piece of wire like that yeah just a little bit more and we have a perfect connector here right and this goes right here and I'm, uh, I'm trying to make the the signal path very simple so that's why I don't want to use any adapters and any other kind of uh, wires and connectors and stuff like this in between each connector it's uh, it can be a problem so it's much better to have this as clean as possible or simpler oh come on what's very nice about this kind of connectors they are very very nice solder solderable if i may say 
come on. Of course, it needs a lot of heat, but I can tell you, TS100, it's a really, really great soldering iron. It makes a really great job. Mm-hmm. Of course. This is perfect. Right. And now, this one will be connected to the output right here. Perfect. Let me see if we don't shortcut the output, but doesn't look like. This is perfect. This is so good. Well, it's still hot. Of course, we are good. Yeah, everything looks fine. The antenna is coming here. This is the output. Power supply, of course. Let me redo this ones. Looking good. This is ready to go. Some tape. Obviously, we need the isolation here. And ready to go in the attic. That's where my my minor and antenna and everything is situated. Uh, but before that, I have to show you something. So this is my minor situation here. Nothing since, well, eight hours ago or something anyway. And the last witness, it was four days ago. So now, today it's uh, 1st of February. We are at 8 and 24 minutes in the night and uh, this will be hooked at 8.30 and let's wait and see for 24 hours if it's doing any change. Okay, let's go to the attic. And here we are in the attic. There's my miner here running and uh, don't forget to turn off the miner before anything. It's very important. Now it's totally off. Let's have the amplifier hooked. Oh, this is the power supply going down here. Let me have the antenna out. The antenna is there somewhere up on the roof. So this is just an improvisation for now. Yeah, the wires are okay. This goes to the, to the minor. Okay, like this. The antenna comes right here. Okay, so the amplifier is on place, antenna is hooked. The minor connection there is absolutely okay. Now let me plug in the power supply. Now the amplifier is powered on. I'm not sure, but all I can check is to see if it's getting a little bit warm and it is the amplifier it's working now let's plug in the miner again and that makes it boot and start on okay so it's on we should see the network lights in a second yeah look there we have communication and that's it. We'll see in 24 hours what's happening. Oh, something else I have to say. This is not a bidirectional amplifier, so it's only for reception. It's only for RX. You'll uh, ask me, what about beacon? Well, the point is, three beacons per day, it's not a big deal. If I'm losing that, it's okay. I don't know what is happening, uh, but uh, I have to give a try like that. Okay, see you soon with news. And uh, in the meantime, don't forget to have fun. Bye-bye. <laughs>